first time I ever heard of the Monkey King was uh, Forbidden Kingdom, where he was played by Jet Li. Brilliantly, I might add. Yes, there were liberties taken with that story. I didn't mind him so much. I thought it was a good story. But then I found out the Monkey King was an actual legend. And I found out, read up on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. So, yeah, I've always had kind of a kind of a liking to the Monkey King. I think somebody's best description of the Monkey King was Loki and Thor in the same body. And yeah, that, <laughs> I think that's kind of accurate. So, I guess that essence what I'm saying is I'm a big fan of the Monkey. But then there's a flip side to this whole thing. Mythic Legions. Now, I've talked a lot about value. And I honestly think Mythic Legions is a little too high. I've discussed it a few times, and I stand by it. I just feel like um, they are gouging the prices. So, <laughs> this is when life decides, hey, I'm going to throw you a curveball, and I'm going to throw your channel into disarray, because I'm going to throw a conundrum at you. Enter Hello Dope Toys. Uh, I will get you in shortly, but uh, Travis, are you are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, now? and I, I kind of got a surprise real quick, Ted. So, okay. like, this is something I decided to do when I was listening to you guys. So, uh, I, as giving back to your community, because they've been so supportive of me, obviously, I'm giving away a starter pack here of the Hexa Stack Stands. It's the same one. The same, it includes the same stuff that the original um, Kickstarter one did, with the exception that it's the larger product that we went with after PowerCon. You know, um, I know I've had this on one of the other streams I've been on, but it's slightly bigger than the previous ones. It's a, it's a more improved overall model. So that'll be coming with it. But additionally, I've decided to throw this in. Oh, um, it's you. unopened. I originally got it because I wanted to use it with my AWOX, but it's just been sitting there. And I'm totally cool with just giving this away. So whoever wins this starter pack is also going to win uh, this Suwahong Four Horsemen uh, Monkey King. Crap. Unopened, and that'll all go out. You guys are amazing tonight, and like I said, we're not even done. I still have more people in the green room who are, who are putting up some awesome stuff, and you guys are just awesome. Travis, thank you so much Absolutely. for that. All right, it is go time. Three, two, one, get stacked now. Uh, Laser Pants says, uh, well, then thank you. He, uh, hey, thank you. You guys have given me an opportunity to enjoy stuff and get right into it, so... Uh, I wouldn't have found out about Robert, it. We have a winner. Robert, Infinite Realms. Congratulations. Uh, make sure you reach out to uh, Travis, a.k.a. Yep. Mr. Wonderful, on Instagram. Uh, the name in his descriptor is the same name as his Instagram. Send him an address, and he will get that. Now, yeah, I'm excited about winning. But at the same time, I have to think about this review because I got something in the collection that I intend on keeping. But I have to talk about, was this worth? $70 he was originally priced at. But I didn't pay anything for it. I have to walk a very fine line here because if I say one thing too negative, I sound disingenuous. If I say something too positive, I don't sound genuine. Whoa, it's so tough being someone with morals. So what do you do? You review the damn figure. So let's go. adage goes that a fool and their money are easily parted. So that's why when I got back into collecting, I kind of watched what I was doing. See, I don't talk about it much, but I have been homeless and broke and starved and down on my luck. I had a good support system to help me out once I eventually accepted the help. But I know that you don't just throw money out at nothing. 
you make sure you try to get at least a little bit of a good value in your investment and what you put out there with your money. Because sometimes that's all you got. I mean, nobody spends $100,000 on a Hyundai Elantra. It's just not worth it. When I returned to collecting, I discovered Mystic Legion. And I looked and I looked, and I just got to be honest. I didn't see the values being there. As soon as I say that, people lose their damn mind because I attack their dollars. Figure that one out. No, I'm saying this is my decision and this is why. I'm not going to pay an exorbitant amount. So one of the big things about the Monkey King is he's got a really weird feature where you can swap his face. That's scary. Okay. Uh, it's a little odd. It's a little getting easy. But hey, hey. Um, at least it's uh, something. Now, another thing I noticed was he has two looks the war paint look and the non war paint look. The faces on both the war paint and non war paint look are the same, though. The same two faces. So that's kind of weird. Does have a lot of accessories. Um, got a couple of nice scrolls got his staff which is absolutely necessary for the month he's got swappable head with uh, the crownless phoenix feathers in it he's got a tail that is kind of crap so if you're wondering why you don't see the tail in this video this is why he's got the cloud boot In other words, he's really packed with stuff. And that's fine. But then you get down to him. Now, one thing right away, and I had to start referring to other people's reviews because I didn't know what the hell was going on. I noticed the arms couldn't move because of the pauldrons on his shoulders. As it turns out, the pauldrons are removable. But here's the thing. This is the Monkey King we're talking the Monkey King is the martial artist of high caliber. He needs to move like a ninja. There was a million ways to do these pauldrons where you could still he could still move his shoulders and arms. I don't know if uh, Four Horsemen decided to not do it, or if it proved to be too difficult, or what. I think I would have came up with a better and different design. Now. I'm not one to harp on packaging, the packaging on this is beautiful. Really nice exterior, then there's this magnetic um, backdrop that you can take off and put behind the figure. That is just so cool. And the packaging on the inside is just really awesome. And there's lots of gold on it and everything. I mean, I will give cred where it's due. The packaging is phenomenal. It is, it is some of the best packaging I've ever seen. And it's a package I'm going to keep, just like uh, several others I've been keeping lately. Well, I'm developing a packaging collection. Of course, talking about ninjas and everything brings you down to the articulation. Four Horsemen articulation is pretty dodgy. Very single joint. Now, I give you, that works great for a night. I mean, that plate mail is going to limit your dexterity so yeah okay it makes sense you have someone like the monkey king who is all about dexterity and ath athletic who moves a lot yeah you're you're talking about something else here that's a big hang up now that also talks about you know, recent discoveries that have been unveiled is that actually more articulation costs more. Huh. Why? Because there has to be more molds made. The molds are pretty pricey. So less articulation means less price. Texturing is not that big a deal as we thought it was. Now I don't know. This is quite a bit of detail. I don't know if maybe there is a point texturing reaches where, yeah, it does start costing you money. I'd imagine that's a possibility, but from everything we're being told, texturing is not a big thing and is kind of part of the expense of doing the molds in the first place. Yes, I'm harping on value. You're going to have to still 
you don't have to deal with him anymore. Now, he does have a bendy wire in the uh, sash. That's kind of cool. But not the first time I've seen it. Now, the armor on the lower half of the body does really hinder the articulation. The armor on the lower part of the body on this figure really does limit articulation. And I, like I said, I do think this is a figure that needs high articulation. I mean, I'll be honest, I think he should be borderline Spider-Man as far as articulation goes. So anything that hinders articulation is automatically going to get my attention and make me go, hey, wait a minute. I mean, the Monkey King is supposed to be a hand-to-hand -hand fighter. I mean, again, while there were liberties taken in Forbidden Kingdom, watch that movie. I mean, that's his whole point. I mean, it's Jet Li. I mean, Jet Li is known for fighting and can do it well. I mean, granted, it's the, you know, pretend looking nice fighting, but it works. So, God, you know, it, it, this is a tough one because, like I said, I mean, I'm all about value. I mean, when I pay money for a figure, I... You know, think, okay, is this worth this money? This was $70. Then I look over here, this big gorilla, he was less. I mean, some can argue his armor isn't as intricate, but I mean, there is some nice detailing in that armor, uh, especially the damage. And he's a big ass monkey. So, yeah, um, it's a tough one. I mean, if we're just not talking price, I mean, minus a few knocks with the articulation, yeah. I think this is a really good figure. I have to say that price, if I had spent money on this, I would not be as happy because I would feel I would feel guilty because I would feel like I spent money more money than I should have. And I mean while it's a good figure, it's not seventy dollars. I mean I, I cannot say in good conscience this is seventy dollars worth of an action figure. Am I gonna try to quote a price? No. No, I, I mean I'm just looking at it as it is. Seventy dollars and I have to remove the pauldrons to get him to get more articulation, to get his full articulation. And even then, his full articulation isn't near as much as I think it should be. Yeah, that 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 knocks it out. And I know there's going to be Mythic Legion fans who are going to be like, what the hell are you saying, you asshole? And I'm being honest, 100%. I mean, I know people buy these Mythic Legions to customize. And that blows my mind because some of these are like 50 bucks a piece and you're buying $50 action figures to take them apart and put them back together I mean I, I'm kind of surprised at it when I see it with $20 figures so yeah $50 figures I'm kind of like whoa and I know some of some people are going to say well their MRQs are smaller too and it's like yeah um I don't know I saw the lines at Joe Fest for Valivers and I saw the lines at PowerCon mythic legion i would argue the line for mythic legions is much longer i know mythic legions line was much longer at PowerCon because that for for valorous because that's the way it is mythic legions i don't think they were even at joe fest so you can't really do a comparison here these are my thoughts um i do like the figure don't get me wrong i just don't think he's worth 70 dollars, and that's what i'm gonna stick it at you know, good figure, well crafted, just not worth seventy dollars. And yeah, I'm a guy about value. And I have to stick to that. And I have to say, is this worth the price tag? Sometimes it's not. I mean, even if it's nice, it's not. And I mean, thankfully I didn't spend a dime on it. Hopefully I don't sound ingenuous because I'm not. And I hopefully I don't sound like I'm not grateful. I'm not. I'm kind of glad I got it. I mean, this is kind of one of the Mythic Legions, one of two Mythic Legion figures I would even think about for a second of getting. So, there we are with that. And I do really enjoy the figure. I do like the figure. Just really happy I did not spend that. Now, as for the rest of the figure Obscura line, I doubt I'm going to ever own another one because those things are too damn pricey. I, I'd, I'd like the line. I like some of the figures, but I'm, I'm like, dude, you know, it, it's not even a question of do you have the money? It's a question of is this the value of what you're getting? I mean, Pintos blew up. People complain.
Of course, this isn't a Pinto, so I guess we have that now. Point is, you know, are we paying the value value of the item? When I feel like we're not, I say so. And this one, yeah, I don't feel like the value's there. So yeah, that's uh, kind of my rundown of the Monkey King. I mean, you know, I like them, but value's not there. It's that simple. And there doesn't need to be any more breakdown than that. Okay, that's going to wrap up Infinite Realms. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
it was originally priced at. But I didn't pay anything for it. I have to walk a very fine line here because if I say one thing too negative, I sound disingenuous. If I say something too positive, I don't sound genuine. Whoa, it's so tough being someone with morals. So what do you do? You review the damn figure. So let's go. The old adage goes that a fool and their money are easily parted. So that's why when I got back into collecting, I kind of watched what I was doing. See, I don't talk about it much, but I have been homeless and broke and starved and down on my luck. I had a good support system that helped me out once I eventually accepted the help. But I know that you don't just throw money out at nothing. You make sure you try to get at least a little bit of a good value in your investment what you put out there with your money because sometimes that's all you got i mean nobody spends a hundred thousand dollars on a hyundai Elantra. it's just not worth it when i returned to collecting i discovered mystic legion and i looked and i looked and i just got to be honest i didn't see the values being there as soon as i say that people lose their damn mind because i attack their dollars figure that one out no i'm saying this is my decision and this is why i'm not going to pay an exorbitant amount. So one of the big things about the Monkey King is he's got a really weird feature where you can swap his face. That's scary. Okay. Uh, it's a little odd. It's a little getting used to, but hey, um, at least it's uh, something. Now, another thing I noticed was he has two looks, the war paint look and the non-war paint look. The faces on both the war paint and not war paint look are the same though the same two faces so that's kind of weird does have a lot of accessories um got a couple of nice scrolls got his staff which is absolutely necessary for the month he's got swappable head with uh, the crown with phoenix feathers in it he's got a tail that is kind of crap so if you're wondering why you don't see the tail in this video, this is why. He's got the cloud boots. In other words, he's really packed with stuff. And that's fine. But then you get down to him. Now one thing, right away, and I had to start referring to other people's reviews because I didn't know what the hell was going on. I noticed the arms couldn't move because of the pauldrons on his shoulder. As it turns out, the pauldrons are removable. But here's the thing. This is the Monkey King we're talking about. The Monkey King is the martial artist of high caliber. He needs to move like a ninja. There was a million ways to do these pauldrons where you could he could still move his shoulders and arms. I don't know if uh, Four Horsemen decided to not do it, or if it proved to be too difficult, or what. I think I would have came up with a better and different design. Now, I'm not one to harp on packaging, but the packaging on this is beautiful. Really nice exterior, then there's this magnetic um, backdrop that you can take off and put behind the figure. That is just so cool, and the packaging on the inside is just really awesome. And there's lots of gold on it and everything. I mean, I will give cred where it's due. The packaging is phenomenal. 
it is it's some of the best packaging I've ever seen and it's a package I'm going to keep just like uh, several others I've been seeing lately while I'm developing a packaging collection of course talking about ninjas and everything brings you down to the articulation four horsemen articulation is pretty dodgy very single joint now i give you that works great for a night i mean that plate mail is going to limit your dexterity so yeah okay it makes sense you have someone like the monkey king who is all about dexterity and ath athletic who moves a lot yeah you're you're talking about something else here that's a big hang up now that also talks about you know, recent discoveries that have been unveiled is that actually more articulation costs more huh why because there has to be more molds made the molds are pretty pricey so less articulation means less price texturing is not that big a deal as we thought it was now i don't know this is quite a bit of detail i don't know if maybe there is a point texturing reaches where yeah it does start costing you money i'd imagine that's a possibility but from everything we're being told texturing is not a big thing and is kind of part of the expense of doing the molds in the first place yes i'm harping on value you're gonna have to still you're gonna have to deal with me now he does have a bendy wire in the uh, sash that's kind of cool but not the first time i've seen it now the armor on the lower half of the body does really hinder the articulation the armor on the lower part of the body on this figure really does limit articulation and i like i said i do think this is a figure that needs high articulation i mean i'll be honest i think he should be borderline spider-man as far as articulation so anything that hinders articulation is automatically going to get my attention and make me go, hey, wait a minute. I mean, the Monkey King is supposed to be a hand-to-hand -hand fighter. I mean, again, while there were liberties taken in Forbidden Kingdom, watch that movie. I mean, that's his whole point. I mean, it's Jet Li. I mean, Jet Li is known for fighting and can do it well. I mean, granted, it's the, you know, pretend looking nice fighting, but it works. So, God, you know, it, it, this is a tough one because, like I said, I mean, I'm all about value. I mean, when I pay money for a figure, I, you know, think, okay, is this worth this money? This was $70. Then I look over here, this big gorilla, he was less. I mean, some can argue his armor isn't as intricate, but, I mean, there is some nice detailing. Uh, especially the damage. And he's a big ass monkey. So yeah, um, it's a tough one. I mean, if we're just not talking price, I mean, minus a few knocks with the articulation. Yeah, I, I think this is a really good figure. I have to say that price, if I had spent money on this, I would not be as happy because I would feel, I would feel guilty because I would feel like I spent money, more money than I should have. And I mean, while it's a good figure, it's not $70. I mean, I, I cannot say in good conscience this is $70 worth of an action figure. Am I going to try to quote a price? No. No, I, I mean, I'm just looking at it as it is. $70, and I have to remove the pauldrons to get him to get more articulation, to get his full articulation. And even then, his full articulation isn't near as much as I think it should be. Yeah, that, that, that knocks it out. And... I know there's going to be Mythic Legion fans who are going to be like, what the hell are you saying, you asshole? And I'm being honest, 100%. I mean, I know people buy these Mythic Legions to customize. And that blows my mind because some of these are like 50 bucks a piece. And you're buying $50 action figures to take them apart and put them back together. I mean, I, I'm kind of surprised at it when I see it with $20 figures. So, yeah, $50 figures, I'm kind of like, and I know some of, some people are going to say, well, their MRQs are smaller too. And it's like, eh, um, I don't know. I saw the lines at Joe Fest for Valivers, and I saw the lines 
at PowerCon for Mythic Legions. I would argue the line for Mythic Legions is much longer. I know Mythic Legions line was much longer at PowerCon because that, for, for Valorous, that's the way it is. Mythic Legions, I don't think they were even at Joe Fest. So you can't really do a comparison here. These are my thoughts. Um, I do like the figure. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think he's worth $70. And that's what I'm going to stick it at. You know, good figure, well crafted, just not worth $70. And yeah, I'm a guy about value. And I have to stick to that. And I have to say, is this worth the price tag? Sometimes it's not. I mean, even if it's nice, it's not. And I mean, thankfully, I didn't spend a dime on it. Hopefully, I don't sound ingenuous because I'm not. I hopefully I don't sound like I'm not grateful I'm, I'm kind of glad I got it I mean this is kind of one of the Mythic Legions one of two Mythic Legion figures I would even think about for a second of getting so there we are with that and I do really enjoy the figure I do like the figure just really happy I did not spend this now as for the rest of the figure Obscura line I doubt I'm going to ever own another one because those things are too damn pricey. I, I'd, I'd like the line. I like some of the figures, but I'm, I'm like, dude, you know, it, it's not even a question of do you have the money? It's a question of is this the value of what you're getting? I mean, Pintos blew up. People complain. Of course, this isn't a Pinto, so I guess it's a bad man. Point is, you know, are we paying the value value of the item? When I feel like we're not, I say so. And this one, yeah, I don't feel like the value's there. So yeah, that's uh, kind of my rundown of the Monkey King. I mean, you know, I like them, but value's not there that simple and there doesn't need to be any more breakdown than that okay that's going to wrap up infinite realms don't forget to like and subscribe